Hello everyone, today I'm going to be giving you a quick demo of our enhanced Stack Overflow for Teams dashboard. The metrics in the dashboard help organizations measure how their communities are engaging with the knowledge base through visits, votes, searches, answers, edits, and new questions. It also provides insights such as the median time to answer and the answer ratio. In this new release, we've built upon these successes to make the dashboard easier to use and allow customers to compare their performance against previous time periods and against custom benchmarks. So let's dive in. Users can access the dashboard via the left-hand navigation. In the initial view, you will notice the layout has changed from the previous dashboard. On the right-hand side, you can quickly see which tags are trending up or trending down. This can help your organization identify popular topics. For example, if the Python tag was trending upwards, it could mean a lot of teams were learning or having challenges with a project written in Python. Knowing this provides an opportunity to identify knowledge gaps and possibly invest in further training. Under the trending tags, we also have trending content, which can be filtered by either questions or articles. Then under that, we have our top users that are asking questions, answering questions, and with the highest reputation. Now, let's go back up to the top and look at how to compare trend lines over time. First, choose the period of time that you want to view. Let's look at the last six months from the drop-down menu. You'll see the timeline on the charts change to include the last six months. Now, to compare this against the previous period, select Compare Dates from the Trend Lines menu. This will show a second dotted line that you can compare against the current period's blue line. If you mouse over the chart, it will give you more details about the data. For customers who want to compare against benchmarks, administrators can set the benchmarks under Admin Settings Dashboard. Benchmarks are available for median time to answer, interaction rate, total answer ratio, active users ratio, and new questions. Once they've set the benchmark values, they will save their settings. Let's see how those benchmarks look on our trend lines. In the same menu where we previously selected compare dates, we will now select benchmarks. The benchmarks show up as a level dotted line and you can see how interaction has changed in relation to that goal. Another way to interact with these graphs is to filter by tag. If I filter by the Python tag, I can see how many questions have been asked, how many answers, edits, and all of the graphs we've been looking at. But now it is showing just the content that was tagged Python. I can keep an eye on whether people are coming to Stack Overflow for Teams to find answers about Python. If these trend lines are decreasing, but I'm still getting a lot of questions about Python, it's a sign I need to either add knowledge people will find useful or point them to existing knowledge in Teams. If you want to see how many searches and questions are coming from your chat integrations, hover over the trend line. From this detail, you can see the number of questions that come from Slack or that come from Microsoft Teams if you have those integrations installed. Finally, I can move these graphs and lists around to personalize my dashboard view. If the most important data to me was the answer ratio, I can grab that graph in the top right hand corner and drag it to the top dashboard. Next time I visit my dashboard, the answer ratio graph will still be in the top. Stack Overflow for Teams Enhanced Dashboard provides your organization with the metrics needed to measure community engagement and take action to get back on track if engagement is trending downwards. We're excited about these new ways to view how our users are interacting with data.